Oh, what is going on YouTube? One and only X from here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. We are, bam, right there. Probably can't read it. Indy Motorsports Ranch. I'm out here with Chris Paris working. Uh, that little guy right there with the bald head and a beard. I mean, that's all you should need to know who that is. He's uh, coming to check out some different style of training and uh, really, really put more tools in that toolbox. Some great content. Come and check it out. from the R6, it's definitely a very aggressive bike, um, and went to the MT-10 to really work on this whole hand positioning thing, because I'm, that's the, my biggest hold up is my upper body, and you'll see in some of the video that um, I got here of me being videoed and recorded and, and telemetry taken to really show what I'm doing wrong, and again, why I like doing these one-on-ones is because it breaks those parts down to digestible levels. When you do the bigger courses, while they're great and they give you a strong foundation, when you really want to start to hone things in, one-on-one -on -one sessions are where you can do it. What bike was that? Can you guess if, if it was an R1 or an Aprilia? It's a tricky one because they sound the same. Because we haven't looked there before we approach it, you set your speed by there. That's almost always right. how it works like. I want to feel comfortable, so I will hold my speed to the next thing that I see. By the time you look up, it's like, oh, over slow it, we go to the throttle, then we're waiting, 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 waiting. Where you actually do start opening it up and driving is really good as far as like seeing corner exit, right. where you start building it. But again, bike straight up and down and we're at 43% throttle. So just like working with Kai Goddard, one-on-one with a driver, Motorcycles have the same benefit where you have a lead follow and what's interesting with the bikes is they're animated. Chris on here would be completely leaned over and wave me by or tell me to get my head over and it's it's a very unique experience and when you work one on one, Chris is going to show some of the video that I uh, just did where he was behind me following me through and kind of point out my mistakes. Should I fast forward to the part you did it right? No, 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 we, <laughs> we show the mistakes because it helps you all. And I'm all not right, afraid. Right. <laughs> so definitely starting to get things going a little bit better. So good job popping up on the brakes. Still see how you still have kind of that bend in the elbow. Mm -hmm. That's why as you start to move the upper body, it's not really fully driving the upper body down. Almost like, think about as you're dropping your head, we're trying to get weight off laterally. So we sit up on the brakes and then we we'll want to lean more this direction. Gotcha. Right now you're bending, but you're bending both elbows and that's why we see your, your head stay more centered is because that puts us down towards the steering head versus forcing us off, right? So like as you tipped in, that elbow just started to bend more, 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 more on the outside, right? Starts bending, bending, bending. And then all of a sudden we kind of get both elbows bent and that's what kind of stops your body from really getting driven off the side, but you do get it up here. <laughs> so that, that puts me, when I'm doing both arms, it's putting too much on the front end and not so much in the center of the yeah. bike. Just think about where the weight would go, right? If these are the handlebars, boom, we sit up on the brakes. Mm -hmm. If I bend both, I'm gonna come right back forward, right? right. And that's kind of a little Doesn't bit what's happening. If I sit on the brakes, if I leave that outside arm straighter, as I bend this, that's really what gets the upper body starting to move down. I felt though that I actually got the arm a little, like you said, it steered quicker. Yeah. So I had to have done something right at well, that, that's, at that you're, point. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're correcting because you sit up on the brakes, you move your body in, it's steering better than it has, so you pick your body up to stop it from steering, right? Yeah. That's that's a good problem. It's better than the other way of, man, I hope this turns better. <laughs> you know, I hope I make it. Right, so right, it's the right approach, right? You get the body in there so well, it steers so well, then you know you can either run less lean angle or carry more pace. Right. Yeah, it's, it's not just sending it. <laughs> you're, uh, <laughs> you're, you're good devil and you're bad devil. <laughs> <laughs> just send it. Just send it. Just be safe. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I had to deal with today. What a day with Chris Paris right here. Teach me. Drag me along the track, make me better, faster, safer, and then tell me to send it here. And Dan Dan the fireman, guess what he got to do today? 
Got to sit on the back with him. You have to have a little careless whisper, have the beard tickle the back of his neck while he rode. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but this is an awesome experience. I hope you enjoyed this content and some learning that happened here. And uh, I know I learned a lot. Uh, thank you. Awesome job. Yeah. Well, with that, you all have a good one. I'm out. See ya.